Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wholesome, Healthy and Happy. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of the things that I've started doing as part of my healthy and happy routine. So for those of you that don't know me, and just to give you a little bit of background information, I'm diabetic and I'm insulin dependent, and I have been for many, many years now. So at the end of last year, I was really quite ill with my diabetes and I spent a little bit of time in hospital. And when I came home and in the months that followed, I started to experience hair loss. And just generally over the last six to eight months, my hair has really thinned quite a bit. Now this has been a massive thing for me because throughout my life and for as long as I can remember, I've always had a really, really thick head of hair. And my hair has always been the one sort of constant and the one thing that I have felt good about myself. So at times when my weight has fluctuated and I've been at my heaviest, or if I've generally just been feeling quite low about myself, my hair has always been the one thing that has made me feel, it's fine, my hair is good, and you know, so I, I've felt okay. So understandably, now that things have changed, this has really been an issue for me. And to be honest, at times it's impacted on my mental health and my self-esteem. And, you know, it's something that I have felt quite self-conscious about. So this was really one of the reasons that I started on this health and nutrition journey. Um, just, you know, in an effort to try and improve this side of things. So what I've started doing is every morning I make a green smoothie for myself and my husband. Now, I know you're probably thinking, green smoothie, that sounds disgusting. But honestly, don't knock it until you've tried it. It is actually really delicious and it's pretty filling as well. But more importantly, it's just full of so much goodness. You know, things that are just so nutritious for our bodies that are just full of vitamins and, and minerals. So, and the added thing is that as we approach the winter months, these green smoothies are a really, really great way for me to, to give my immune system a little bit of a boost. So I am going to share the, the recipe and how I make my green smoothies. But before I do that, I also just wanted to talk about some of the supplements that I've been taking. In the past, I've never really been a fan of supplements. And I've always thought if you're eating a healthy and balanced, um, or if you have a healthy and balanced diet, then you shouldn't need to take supplements. But given how things have been for me over this past kind of six to eight months, I decided that let me just give them a try and see. And, you know, any little help of getting my body back on track, I'm willing to do that. The other thing I just wanted to say is that I am not a health professional and I'm certainly not suggesting that you need to run out and buy these, these supplements and start taking them straight away. Um, I would always recommend that you speak to your doctor or a healthcare professional before doing anything like this. And obviously these are just the ones that I have researched and so far have been good for me. So the first one that I've started is magnesium citrate or citrate. I don't know how you pronounce that, um, but it's a, a high strength magnesium capsule. Um, and sorry, I've just got some notes here of the, the health benefits. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with, with loads of facts, but the reason that I started taking that particular supplement was because it supports your cardiovascular and bone health. Um, and it also supports muscle and nerve function. So that's the first one. The next one is um, it's a, a high... Uh, a high strength vitamin C. So this one, as you can imagine, it's just really for the purposes of general boosting my immune system. The next one um, is vitamin B12. So I've started taking this one. Um, vitamin B12 is great for helping with, with energy and it's also really good for digestion. It helps your body to absorb nutrients better. The last one is, I don't know if you can see that, um, so it's zinc and basically 
Um, the reason I started taking zinc is it helps with processing fats and carbohydrates and proteins from food. And um, it's also really good for healing wounds. So I've been taking these for just uh, maybe about a month. So I will let you guys know over the coming weeks and months if I've felt any benefit from taking these supplements. Um, I'll also, for those of you who, who may be interested in looking into taking these types of supplements, I'll also um, post the details in the description box below. So that's it for the supplements. Um, we're going to move on now and I'll show you how I make my green smoothie. So that's really it guys. That's my recipe and how I make my green smoothies every morning. Why don't you give it a try and let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.